In this episode of Flea Market Rescue, we're going to do four Trash to Treasure holiday home decor projects. We'll take scraps of pallet board and turn it into a really cool farmhouse kind of tree. We'll then take this dusty flower arrangement and turn it into a Christmas urn. I'll also show you a few different ways you can display your trees. We'll take these little primitive houses that I got from the thrift store, we'll make them a little more modern, and I'll show you how to display them. And from old pairs of salt and pepper shakers, we'll make these little cutie patooties. So you ready for this week's episode of Flea Market Rescue? Great, let's go ahead and dive into these projects. Just a quick note before we get started though, if you're new to my channel, I just want to welcome you. My name's Kelly Sherry. My mom and I do a lot of vintage markets. I show you how to take thrifted items and turn it into beautiful home decor. I post a new video every week, so if you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell, you'll get notified every time I post a new video. Right, you guys, this morning we are going to build a tree. I have all this pallet wood that's left over, and I think it's going to make an awesome little tree. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We are going to use some of this wood that I have left over from another project. And I have this pallet wood. This is a small piece. I think we're gonna use this for our base. It'll go like this. But first thing what you wanna do is you wanna drill a hole through this and this because you don't want your wood to crack. That, that will relieve some of the pressure when we put this big screw in there. Okay, so that's what we're gonna start off doing. Okay, so we want this to be in the middle. What side do I want? Um, I kinda like this darker side, so that's what we'll do. We're gonna put this right in the middle like that. So I'm gonna start this off by putting this right in the middle. And then on this end here, you want to do that right in the middle as well. I'm going to back that out. And now we have our little point that we're going to do that with. So I'm just going to make that hole. And we have our hole here and we have a hole through the board. Now I'm going to change out the drill to the screw bit. I'll make sure that's tight and then we are going to screw that in. Before we get started and we put our screw through, I want this screw to lay very flat in here so that this doesn't wobble when we set it up. So what we're gonna do, so this head will lay flat, I'm just gonna take our drill and I'm just gonna do just a little bit here so that the head will sit flat. See that the head should fit in there nice and flat so we're gonna start this like that I'm gonna change out this drill bit we're gonna put our screw drill bit in our, our Phillips and hang it over I usually hang it over the counter, but I don't know if you can see it, so. Oh yeah, you'll be able to see it. Okay, I'm gonna hang this over the counter and I'm gonna start this. You just wanna get it till it's poking through like this. Then we're gonna line up our hole in here Okay. 
There we go. Voila, we got it all set here. All right, so that's standing really good. Now we're gonna take our boards. And we're just gonna stagger them. I'm gonna cut them, but we're gonna stagger them like bigger. And then work our way all the way up. We're gonna cut this on the miter saw. Now we're gonna figure out how we want this to lay. So let's see. I have a, let's see. We'll just figure out which ones we want. So this one's kind of cool. I would probably cut it off like right there. Put that one there. And then I have another one like this. Or maybe we'll go with this one here. One there. This one here. And then, you know, you're gonna get smaller each time. You're gonna, each time it's gonna get smaller and smaller as you work your way up. So we could do something like that. This one would not even really need to be cut. And then right down to something like this. So I would cut it like here. So we have them all staggered, and now we're just gonna kind of put a little angle on the sides. This one already has an angle, but this one needs to be cut. So we'll go about right here. And then, I just wanna do a little bit of an angle. On the miter saw, I'll put it to a precise angle but I'm just kind of getting where it's gonna be. So I know the angles like you know this one is gonna be like our fourth board and it's going this way this one here so it's kind of messed up okay I think that probably should work let's cut it on the saw Now we should have something that resembles this. Now to get these on, we are just gonna use the nail gun and we're just gonna nail them on. I had decided to add another little board, so I cut that real quick and put that on the top. I was actually thinking about putting a star on that, but I thought, you know what, let's just do another little board. So we added just one more. 
Um, at this point, you actually could just kind of leave this like that, but I want to make it look like chipped up old white paint. I just think that's going to look better. You know, it's just my preference, but again, you could leave it totally natural. Um, you probably would have wanted to stain this um, board, however, because it's, you know, brand new and this has such rustic charm. So I'm mixing up some of this graphite and French linen by Annie Sloan. We just want to cover up that new wood on the stick and make it blend more. Okay, so let's just kind of cover that up a little. This is gonna kind of look like it's weathered. And then we can put white paint over it. I'm just gonna kind of get in between the both. It probably would have been easier if I had just painted it, but that's okay. I'm gonna go in between all these here. Stand this up. That way when we paint the white, we'll have some kind of like background that's just not natural wood. Brand new wood, I should say. Okay, so I have my bear paint here. Um, it's actually a Sherwin-Williams color. It's called um, Pure White, and I get that in bear paint and primer in one. So what we're going to do is we are just going to simply not paint everything. We're just going to kind of like it's old wood from a barn. Just going to kind of want to go over it a little bit, not entirely. And this palette wood has a lot of great texture in it, so you're gonna get a lot of great um, see, you're gonna get a lot of great, you know, um, it, it's gonna look like barn wood, like opposed to if you were just using it on a regular piece of wood brand new from Home Depot. This looks like it needs one more nail. not on there. I'm going to have to put one more nail in that one. I'm gonna hit in between here. Look how cool that looks. Just gives it a nice effect. We're gonna just do a little on this too. These are just so easy to make, and you definitely could sell them quick at a Christmas show. Nothing to them. I think this came out so cool. I love it. I ended up putting on a round piece of wood that we had cut and I think all together it looks awesome.
All right, you guys, take a look at this. It is such a dusty old flower arrangement. It's yucky and it smells yucky too. It has like that old plasticky leaf kind of smell. I paid $6.99 for this and I did not buy it for these flowers. We are gonna rip these out and we're gonna do that right now so I can get rid of them. We're gonna get rid of all this here. I'm gonna throw it in the garbage. Okay, we are gonna use some of this DIY paint and little black dress. I've cleaned this all out. I got all the styrofoam out. And now we're just gonna put a coat of this little black dress on. We are gonna let this dry, and then we're gonna do some white over it. Okay, so this is completely dry. We are gonna paint this white. We're gonna use Bear's Paint and Primer in one. I had this color match to be a Sherwin-Williams color, pure white. If you don't get everything, that is completely fine because we want some of this to shine through. Can you see how I'm leaving some of that there? We want to do that so the detail shines through. <laughs> The white has completely dried and now we're gonna sand it just to bring out a little more of that detail. I bought this tree at Hobby Lobby and I think it's gonna look great inside this pot or urn, whatever you wanna call it. So we're gonna put that in there and then I cut some burlap and we're gonna just drape some burlap all around just to fill the bowl. This looks like a vintage cement urn now, and I love how it came out. It's perfectly paired with the trophy potted plant. That trophy type pot was bought at Utica Flea Market for $6, and then I just added a little seedling in there, and I think they go together well. It doesn't cost a lot of money to decorate. I'm going to show you a couple other things you can do with trees as well. Now, not everything needs to be made over. I bought this cute little wagon for $3.99. It's black. It's like the perfect color. And if you just add like a little seedling pine in there, how cute would that be? Here's a couple more ideas for you. I picked this box up at the Salvation Army for just a couple dollars. It's really cool and it's green. So it has that Christmas vibe to it. Um, I also picked up this tin pail. This screams Christmas to me because it's white. It looks like it almost has snowflakes on it. I love the galvanized steel. It's a darker galvanized steel, so it really has a real cool look to it. 
if you just take simply take like a pine and put that in there how cool would that be and you could do the same if you add it in here you could put some numbers on there like you know zero five in white that would look really cute maybe add a seedling to this one here see right away you have Christmas which is so easy that's all you need to do just add a couple pines or seedlings to a box or a pail and it's a great Christmas display I saw the cutest snowman made out of salt and pepper shakers. So guess what? We are going to make those today. Needless to say, I was on the hunt for salt and pepper shakers. I picked up these. I think they were like a dollar each. They still have pepper and salt. We're going to have to clean those out. These uh, 99 cents each. I think those would be really cute. And these little cuties too. They're very small, as you can see, like to my hand, very small. So let's get these all cleaned up and then we'll start making snowmen. All our salt and pepper shakers are dry and we are going to use this. It's called Fine Snow in a Jar. I got it from Hobby Lobby. And we're going to fill these. You want Now we are gonna make some heads for these snowmen. I'm gonna use my paper clay. It's creative paper clay. I love using it. It's a great brand. We're just gonna make some heads for these babies. So you just wanna roll them in a ball like you're making cookies. and make it just a little bigger. Perfect. Now that we have our snowman heads, we're gonna take some of these toothpicks here and we're gonna paint the tips orange for their little noses. 
I have this um, Americana. It's called Burnt Orange. We're gonna use that. Oh, I better shake it up. I've had it sitting there for a while, so. Shake up your paint. There we go. So we're just gonna paint the tips orange. We're gonna let them dry. And then we're gonna poke it in our snowman. So that it has an indentation. Then we're gonna pull them out, and then once our head is dry, we'll paint those white and then reinsert the toothpicks. So we're just gonna let this dry here, and we'll come back to it. Okay, so while all that is drying, like the little balls that we just made, and also the noses, while those are drying, we are gonna take some of this glitter glass that I got from Sweet and Sassy Treasures. It's German glitter glass and it's pure silver. I know it was expensive, but there's a lot of it and you can do so many wonderful Christmas projects. It's absolutely beautiful. So let's open this up. We're gonna take the tops off the heads. We're gonna use a little of this Mod Podge. I'm gonna brush it onto the caps here. And I'm just gonna dip that in there. Look how shimmery and beautiful. Put that over to the side here. I'm gonna do that with all of them. I'm gonna Mod Podge them up. When I was at Hobby Lobby, I bought these little buttons. They're little snowflakes. So we're gonna open these up. We're gonna put a little of that Mod Podge on these as well and then dip the snowflakes in there. So we need six of those. They're so stinking cute. Look how little they are. They're gonna look awesome on the snowman's hat. Okay, just like with the tops, we're gonna do the same thing. Our toothpicks are dry. I'm gonna cut them. I'm gonna cut them to about right there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the toothpick and we're gonna insert it where the nose should be. I like to kind of turn it up a little, like that, like so. I am gonna take these out because 
Once this is dry, I'm gonna paint that and it'll just be so much easier just to paint it and then we'll stick this back in and glue it. So we're gonna get all our little noses together and we're gonna do that with each one. So we're gonna let these dry overnight because there's a lot of paper clay. I think it really needs to dry overnight. We'll come back, we'll paint these. We'll insert the little carrot nose. We'll add our glitter hat and stars to our hat. And it's gonna be so stinking cute. Okay, so our little heads are all completely dry. The paper clay has dried. And now we are gonna paint the heads white. We're gonna use my um, Bear Paint and Primer in one. This is a Sherwin Williams color. It's called Pure White, and I had it color match. Now listen, you can um, you can paint this just a white acrylic. It's just what I had on hand. You don't have to get a whole gallon of this. Although, if you do a lot of my projects, this is my go-to white. But yes, you can use um, the acrylic white. And we're just gonna let that dry. Okay, so all our little balls here are completely dry. So we're gonna glue them onto our salt and pepper shakers. Remember how we made the little hole in the nose? So you wanna make sure that that is up, like so. Before you glue them. Okay, those all look about right. Actually, we can put the little noses in. We'll go ahead and do that get a little glue here. We're just going to use a little Elmer's glue. That's all we really need. Have all the noses here. Just a little school glue. It's fine. I'll do the little guys first. We'll just stick that in there. They're looking super cute. So we got all our little toothpicks in the air for noses. If you see any extra glue, just kind of touch that up. And now we're gonna glue our heads in. So now we're gonna glue the little heads on to the salt and pepper shakers.
So I think they're pretty cute. To make the eyes, we're just gonna use a little of this Apple Barrel um, paint in black. So I have a little bit on this tin foil here. You're gonna just dip the back of your brush in the paint, and then with the back of your brush, you're gonna dot your, your eyes. Boom. Boom. Perfect circles every single time. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna put them up like this. I think that'll be cuter. I'll redo that one. See how this one's like far apart. You might like it that way. I personally like it more like this. So, however you wanna do it is fine. There's no rule to it, but I think I'm gonna put mine up higher like that. What a cutie patootie. in there. Boom. Boom. See? Simple and easy. Okay, so now that we have all our little guys all done with the little eyes, we are going to go on to blush the cheeks a little bit. I'm going to use a little of this um, Americana Heritage Brick for, to blush the cheeks. I'm just gonna put a little on our tin foil here. I've had this paint for a while, so I'm gonna mix it up a little. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit right here. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of like a paper towel. I'm gonna dip it into our paint get a lot of it off. Actually, a stencil brush would probably be ideal, but I don't have my stencil brush with me. So we're just gonna use a little bit of this paper towel and we're gonna blush the cheeks here. You just wanna put a little on there and blend that in a little. You want them nice and rosy. Now, if you get a little too much paint and you didn't, you know, blend it in in time and it's kind of drying, all you have to do is take a little water and that will smooth it out. Okay, so their cheeks are nice and rosy. And now we're gonna glue the hats on. If you remember, we put a lot of that glitter glass on there and now it's time. So let's start with the bigger set. I'm gonna put a little glue on his head here. And then we're gonna put that cap right on there. How stinking cute is he? Now, if you remember, I had the little buttons we're gonna add one of those to the little hat. So on the back of the button, you wanna just put a little hot glue and we're gonna add that to the hat.
To finish these little guys off, I bought a little of this um, tickling stripe from Hobby Lobby. It's in red, and we're just gonna make a couple little scarfs with that. So we are just gonna tear a little piece of this off. I like to tear my fabric because it gives a nice like jagged edge without it being like cut. So we're just gonna make a little snip at the end and then you're just gonna pull. Do you see how it makes that cool edge? So we're just gonna tear that all the way down. And it's perfect. Okay, so we're gonna wanna tie this around our little guy. And then we're just gonna snip it off. See how cute that is? And if you want, you can glue it down, like if it's coming up like this, you can just put a little dab of glue just to hold it in place. I have some little twigs that have been sprayed gold and we're gonna use them for little arms. I bought these at the Salvation Army. I got them for half off, um, so they were $2 each. Again, though, these, these look like, you know, primitive, and primitive was quite some time ago, so we're gonna bring them up to date and make them look a little more farmhouse. You remember when they had the mauve and the green and the, the cream? So we're gonna bring these up to date. Now, I personally like the black on the top, so I really don't need to do anything with that. I'm just gonna paint these white. It's no big deal. I mean, because we're going to go in with black and make windows, so we can always just kind of touch it up a little. Our little houses are completely dry. I'm going to take a little of this apple barrel black paint and we're going to paint some windows on there. Well, first we're gonna make a little door. All it is is a rectangle.
So we're gonna make a little arrangement. I bought this drawer in Springfield. It's so cute. I love the natural wood. We're gonna leave it just the way it is. I bought this at the thrift store for $1.99. Um, we're gonna put some fairy lights in this. Also, when I was at Springfield, I brought this brush and we're gonna use this too to do our arrangement. And as you know, we just redid these houses to look more farmhouse. So we're gonna put this whole arrangement together with this tree that I got at Joann's. So first things first, we are gonna put our tree in our drawer. I think that'll look really cute in there. Then we're gonna take this jar that I got from the thrift store for the $1.99 and we're gonna add some fairy lights in there. I think I'll leave a little on the end so we can put it across the tree. You can get those at Hobby Lobby. You can get them at Joann's, Michael's. They all have them, especially this time of year. Put a couple in there. Okay, now we have our fairy lights underneath our jar. We have our tree in there. And now we're gonna take this brush, this antique brush, and we'll put that in there. Cause I think that's just gonna add a little charm. Then we're going to take our houses and we'll put one on top, we'll put right, one right in the box. Well, you know what, I'm going to switch these around here. And then I have the cutest little picture of my son when he was younger kissing a snowman and we're going to use that too. So I'm gonna put that little picture that I have of my son right in this brush. And you know, you can put like a few pictures in here. It's just a cute way to display a photo. Let's put it behind a few bristles. There you have it. Just a cute little display with a few things that you got from the thrift store, a flea market, doesn't take much. Oh, and you know what? I'm gonna add just a little more greenery to the front because I think that would look good. A little bit of this hanging out too. Well, that's it for this episode of Flea Market Rescue. I have a little surprise for you, though. I have a part two, which will be airing on Thursday. So check back Thursday for more Trash to Treasure holiday home decor projects. I just want to thank everyone who's been purchasing all my Christmas hang tags. I hope that you're enjoying them. I hope they look awesome on all your stuff. And for those of you who don't know, I do have Christmas hang tags in my Etsy store. I have two different sets. They're $2.50. You get six hang tags in each set. And if you haven't seen them yet, go over there at Etsy and check them out. I'll put the link in the description for you. If you like this episode of Flea Market Rescue and you want to see more episodes, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry and this has been Flea Market Rescue.